All right, guys, Model Rocks 321 here. Today we are doing some park flights. I did this a while ago, I'm trying to get back to it right now. We're gonna start off with this classic Estes flying saucer kit, one that I had for many years. But this is not the original one that I had, but I've had this kit way, way back. I recently got one again, you know, probably a couple years ago. But we're gonna be flying this right here on a C60, doing some park flying on the baseball field. All right, here we go. We got the Estes Flying Saucer going on a C60. Range is clear, sky is clear. And let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. And there it go, coming right back down as a park flyer should, like upside down, perfect. That is pretty much a textbook launch for the Flying Saucer. Up, down, close to the pad. So if you don't have a large flying field, you can still fly as you just saw the flying saucer just did. Great flight, nice. Didn't stick the landing, but it definitely um, did a pretty good job. There's like no, no uh, wind up there, so very nice. All right guys, next up we have the Terraformer. It's gonna be going on a C60. This is a 24 millimeter motor mount, but I'm just gonna be flying it on a C60. I just wanna see how it performs. Um, so it should be similar to the last one, but we will see. I got the engine, it's a friction fit, and I tape, put tape around the um, edge of the motor, so. We're gonna check this out right now. Model Rocks 321. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, the cards are running out. There are three sets left. Go to the website, put the order in. Put in discount code SURPRISE, all capital letters, and you will get a discount on the 12 card set of Model Rocket 321 trading cards. Let's go. Attention Rocketeers, for the very first time, you can get your hands on an exclusive set of Model Rocket trading cards by Model Rockets 321. These cards have been carefully created and represent a groundbreaking first in the world of rocketry with their glossy UV coated finish. These collectibles are a must have for anyone passionate about space and rocketry. This 12 card set includes detailed descriptions on the back of each card plus three limited edition cards that will be vaulted after this release. Don't miss out. Secure your set right now by clicking the link in the bio. All right, guys, here we go. We got the Terraformer going next on a C60 engine, and we are going. Rain is clear, sky is clear, and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Terraformer doing a nice little spin coming back down. Hope you guys are seeing that nice helicopter action. That is cool. That was pretty nice. Let me go over here and get this. I don't want this. Very nice. Nice flight. Something happened with the gimbal. I hope everything was um good. Yeah, that was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. The Terraformer. Pretty nice performer. That's pretty cool by Rocketarium. You can get those at Rocketarium. Be sure to subscribe to the channel again. It's Model Rock 321. Doing some park flying. Nice. All right, next up, guys, we got the Hex 3, the Estes Hex 3. This is one of the tri-fold kits. You know, it's all paper pretty much. You just do your folds and you get it built up real nice. Um, and then it should, should be a good flight on this one. I have a mini engine in there. I did not fly with the C60. Just want to check it out on one of the mini engines. So we will, it's an A10-3P or A10-PT. One of them, one of them. It don't have a zero on the end, though. So we'll see. Hopefully all goes well. Let's get it. All right, guys, here we go. We got the Hex 3 going on an A10 4T, I believe it is. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there it is, up and down, up and down, real close. Yeah, pretty much quick launch. Landed right side up. But what we will do is we will put a C60 in there. So that was really fast on the A10. Let's check it out on a C60. Coming up soon, but I got a couple more to fly before this one. So there we have it. Real nice, real quick. Putting it, I use the uh, SD's adapter. They sell these adapter kits, and that's what I use. There we go. Hey guys, I just heard a model rocket launch. There is somebody in this park flying with me. They're on the other side of this baseball field over there. I'm not, I don't see their rocket yet. I'm looking, see if I see it in the sky. Yeah, so there's somebody over there flying. I will keep an update on those people. I see a kid running back, so yeah. Model Rocks 321 here in the park, and there are some other people in the park. I 
don't see it yet. Yeah. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to go on the Hex 3 once again, this time on a C60. The last one was on a little A engine or a half A. So this time we're going to go with a full C60. Should be a higher flight, probably even higher than the Flying Saucer. So let's go. All right, here we go. We got the Hex 3 going on a C60 this time. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, definitely higher. Hex 3 coming down right over us. Very close to us. Got a little spin, a little glide to it. Very nice. That's cool. Very cool. And I saw a fin popped off. One of the legs popped off. Hit pretty hard, so. Leg popped off, but easy fix. Yeah, easy glue. It broke off clean, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, so there we have the Hex 3 just landed. Nice flight on a C60, though. Yeah, probably go with some over here. Ripped off some of the paper stayed. So, pretty simple fix, easy fix. Nothing bad. What is that? A little piece of extra trash. I'll take it. I'll take the extra trash with me. Model Rock 321, subscribe to the channel, don't forget your cards. So, I mentioned earlier that somebody's in the park flying, and right now I see one there is recovering on parachute. And it had a cluster, so that's pretty cool. I think I see their wadding, and I see their rocket. You could probably see right behind this pole. If I'm not too, yeah, it's coming down in the park. They, they're doing good. It went over, like the freeway's over there, but yeah, coming down. I think that's the twin chaser or something like that. And there it is, it touched down for them. Nice. <laughs> nice. It recovered, yep, and they're coming to get it right now. Yep, cool. All right. All right, guys, next up, Model Rocks 321 here. We have the Vortico going. Just gonna be going on a mini engine for the first flight. Just gonna check this out on one of the mini half A engines, and then we'll go with the C60. So we are set to go. We are going in five, four, Three, two, one. I heard the igniter burn. It's not going to go. It's not going to go. It, it fell out. <laughs> that's, that's the life of here. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys. We got the Vortico going on a half A engine. Got that misfire on the last one, but this time we should be good. We are going on a half A Vortico by Rocketarium. Going in five, four, three, two, one. There we go. There we go, nice helicopter action right here, closest to the pad award. And we are good to go, that was pretty cool. So this engine has the P on the end, it's one of the plugged engines. Oh, I can see that, nothing happened. So it just flew up, no ejection, and came right back down. It was pretty cool, almost like a zero, but different. The zero you will get, it, will, it could ignite an upper stage, this kind won't. Nice, very nice. So let's do this again. All right, here we go, we got the Vortico going on a C60. Range clear, sky's clear. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, there it goes. Should be helicopter and down. Yeah, coming down. Helicopter, helicopter. That was pretty good on a C60. Not bad. Not bad on a C60. Nice. This thing's a nice little flyer right here, guys. Um, again by Rocketarium. Nice kit. Nice. Very nice, and it's land. Everything's landing within 25 feet of the uh, pad, so we're good. We are good. All right, guys. Next up, we got the Quest UFO. Very old kit, but it's trusty. It's fun. Had a lot of flights on this one. Um, flew it in San Diego. If you saw that launch video, um, real cool and real cool park flyer again. And we're going to be getting this one up right now. Going on a C60. Today is C60 day, so we're going to get this one going off. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Fire. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Almost had a situation. Almost had a little little fire was burning on that one. The tape, I guess the tape caught on, but we will see what's going on. All right, guys, next up we have the Intruder going on an A10 4TP, one of the plugged engines um, that normally go in those. Um, I gotta stop that. Damn, this thing not fine. All right, guys, next up we have the little Intruder, this little tiny rocket right here. It's gonna fly on an A10 4T, one of the plugged engines with a P on the end, actually. Um, never flew this before. I got this a while ago. So we're gonna get it up in the sky today. 
in the last flight we did not go because the engine actually the tape that was holding the igniter and started to catch fire so we don't want that so i had to scrap that one because the engine hook is kind of bent out of place i'm going to go and um, fix some things up on the quest saucer so we will do an update on that guy right now we're going to get this little intruder rocket going and the intruder is gone in five four three two one up and down quick little tiny little rocket right there simple 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 my rock three two one all right guys for the last flight of the day we're going to go with the flying saucer again the estes version the quest one the engine hook is bent so we're gonna to have to work on that guy so we're going to get this going right now and this will be the last flight of the day and stay tuned for the debriefing and we are going in five, four, three, two, one. There you go up there pretty good. Turned over, flipped over, right here at the pad. I mean, it gets no better. Landed right side up. A little smoke action happening. Very cool launch. The Estes UFO or the Estes Flying Saucer. All right, Model Rocks 321, we're back. It is debriefing time. Today was a pretty decent day of flights. Shut this window. Pretty decent day of flights. Um, all part flying stuff. A couple disappointments, but nothing too bad. Right here, we have the Hex 3, the Estes Hex 3 here. You can see on that one flight when it did take off popped off its leg but it was a pretty nice fly actually that was the second flight so that was pretty nice i flew the first one on one of the uh, mini engines which i have a burned out one here and these plug engine it's a a10 pt they're plugged as you can see it still has the gray the uh, gray clay in there they don't have that zero so there will be no gases flying forward so pretty neat engines these are for their um sd's blurs their little the cars they make that um you can drag race so this is a pretty nice flyer. I do recommend um if you can find one of these, I recommend it. Um easy build, pretty much all these nice, you just all folds, all folds and glue. I painted the bottom of mine that red color, but I'm going to um get this glue back on and this will be a flyer. So pretty nice rocket there. Just need that one repair. And also I'm going out of order of the flights. I'm just gonna show however whatever I have like right near me. So this right here, the intruder, this Estes in intruder, very old rock. I'm not even sure. I don't think they make these anymore. It's an all foam kit. I also flew this one on a plugged engine and it performed really nice. It went up, not super high, a lot of drag on this one. Um, just, you know, up and down pretty much. Another park flyer, another A10 PT engine. So that one was a nice one. And moving right along. My quest, you may have seen that. I cut the video, I don't know, just so I wanted to get that little... I had this engine hook was not holding the engine in good, so I had a bunch of tape kind of holding it, and that tape warmed up the... Uh, and the igniter warmed up that tape, so I had a little flame going on, so I went and ran over to get that put out. You know, you don't want any flame. I had the fire extinguisher there with me, but went on and took care of that, and um, just going to have to get this hook situation dealt with, so it can... Because I don't want it to kick the engine out um, after ejection. So I just got to get some, get a system to hold this in better or get that hook. Because this is a very short hook. It's a different one. It's by Quest. It's a different hook. It's not a normal, it's not the full length. I don't know if you can see that piece right there, but that will hook over and hold the engine. It's just all bent out of whack right now. But I do like flying this one. Um, didn't get to fly it today because of that situation. But other than that, that was a save there. But I did fly my flying saucer twice. Get this engine out of here. The Burn C60. I flew it twice. But I just noticed when I got back, I lost one of the antennas. How did I not see it before we left? Um, so now I'm without an antenna. I did go back to the field to try and locate it. I did not see it on the field. So hopefully when I go back there to fly again, I'll see it. Or I can try fabricating one. But they're basically these wire, this piece of wire here. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of machine shop or somewhere. I could probably have this made. Um, but it's just some kind of heavy, I feel like a steel. It's a heavy metal. So, man, that's a shame. I hate um, I hate stuff like this. I do have another one of these that's um, in the package. Um, so I do have, I have one of these if I need to fly. But it's got to pay closer attention now. So it's 
It's out of whack. It'll probably hit. I'm thinking it hit on that last flight. It probably hit and it popped it off. So that is a little disappointing that that's missing. But you typically store this without these on unless you have the shelf space. The Quest one, they stay on. This is permanent. And I actually went back because I had something that broke on this one. I, this is all glued up. I may actually, might, may actually wind up gluing this, gluing these all in if I can get another one made. Hopefully I find that one. I may take another look out there and see. And those flew. And then we get to these Rocketarium um, kits, man. They make some pretty nice stuff. These are some good flyers. This one took off. I flew the first one on a mini engine. And I was flying mini engines in these 18 millimeter um, adapters or motor tubes. You fly those inside these adapters, actually. Um, they sell these. I just taped this one together. The mini engine goes in. This is 18 millimeter motor adapter. That's to sell these, by the way. So you pop the engine in there, and it's the same size as one of these. So you have a rocket that's small enough and light enough. You can fly one of the little plugged engines or one of the little a, a, half A engines or whatever. So, yeah, so that was the deal with this. You know, I could just leave this tape on here and let it stay. Yeah, I'll leave, leave that. As yeah, a matter of fact, I'll tape all these guys together. So that way they all, nothing gets lost. But yeah, these adapters are pretty handy um, if you want to fly, you know, 13 millimeter engines in, inside of a, uh, a bigger uh, motor, inside of a bigger motor tube. So there we have that. Now, there's a set of three. They come in a set of three like that. I was actually looking for a 24 millimeter when I just didn't have one. I think they sell one. Because this, the Terraformer, um, comes with a 24 millimeter engine. I just didn't want to do it in the park. But now, I see the way this thing performs. And this got stuck. I wanted to fly this again. But I just created, I took a D12-0 burnt casing. I hollowed it out. And I was able to put the motor in there. I only got one flight because this is stuck now. But I may be able to get it out with these channel up pliers. I may be able to just now. Because I didn't have, I was out there bare bones. Didn't bring too much with me. And I didn't have anything that I could uh, grip and grab and pull this out of there. So I was trying to pull it and I put, I just didn't want it to fall out. So I had a lot of tape on there. Yeah, this is in there pretty good. I just need uh, another set of pliers. I'll see my other needle nose, the bigger ones. But yeah, I'm going to work on getting this out of here because I'm going to use this again, possibly. Yeah, it's just in there pretty good. It's coming out. Just, it's just stuck for right now. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, here it comes. Here, I'll get it. But yeah, the Terraformer um, is pretty nice. Nice performing rocket. It has a nice spin motion when it's coming back down to the ground. It takes off. It takes off with a little spin, but when it's coming down, it really was getting that spin coming down pretty nice. As was the Vertico. This one was called the Vertico. Flies on 18 millimeter. And I, like I said, I flew it with the adapter for the 13 millimeter. I just wanted to see how everything performed because this thing is very light and um, it got up there pretty high. It got up there pretty high on the C60. So that was a nice, very nice flight. Very nice flight. Simple design, like real simple design. A few pieces of wood, you glue it all up. Um, it took off spinning. I mean, it came down nice helicopter action, really slowing it down because it has these little um, grooves here, these little wedges that you glue different pieces of wood. So very nice, um, pretty nice flights overall. A couple like I said, missing that piece, the hex three, broken leg. But other than that, easy fix. Easy fix. So I'm going to line some glue in there and get this all fixed back up. And we'll see more of this guy flying here in the near future. So this is a good day on the field. It's Model Rocks 321. Again, you can get your cards. Um, three sets left. I want to sell these out. So go on and grab cards, guys. Get these done. Um, and that will be cool. Use discount code SURPRISE, all capital letters, and watch a nice discount take place. Sales coming to an end, cards are coming to an end, and we're gonna be moving on, onward and upward. It's my rock three, two, one, missing the antenna. See you on another video. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel.